Okay, uh, hi there everybody, it's um, Swade here, SubsUnited.com. I drove the 9.5 today and one of the things that surprised me with how much I enjoyed it was all the uh, electronics and gadgetry and I'm here with, state your name for the camera please. Michael Jacobson. Michael Jacobson as yes. we call you in Australia. <laughs> yeah. Michael Jacobson and uh, you are? A product manager for infotainment and safety. Yep. Okay. So you're going to show us through all of this technology that's in the new 95. Yes. We've got a fully equipped car here. Uh, it's got pretty much all the gadgets. Yes. It has uh, pretty much uh, everything that you could put onto the car here. And uh, let's start with uh, the driver information. Yep. Uh, where we have, of course, a speedometer and all that. Uh, we have the board computer. And in the board computer, we have an uh, aircraft uh, heritage inspired. Um, uh, speedometer, uh, which I, I hope everybody will see very soon yep. in, in the live in the car. Uh, it also features on the, the trip computer here with a traditional. Um, actually, do it out the way around. Actually, sorry for that. Uh, the trip computer uh, with the fuel range and distance to empty, fuel consumption, etc. Um, we have also done navigation, so you see the, the information where to, to turn, etc. Control with the left stalk. Uh, you also have a menu where you push a menu button here and you can see uh, more vehicle information such as uh, oil and uh, tire pressure monitoring, uh, set the units and, and speed warning etc. Uh, on the steering wheel uh, we have the cruise control on the left side um, and where you then operate the cruise control. Uh, on the right side you have the infotainment system controls uh, with volume, source, track up and down and, and, and uh, phone and uh, voice control activation. Yep. Um, then looking into the infotainment, um, in this case then an 8 inch touchscreen navigation system with uh, which is then hardest based, so you have the map on the hardest drive. Um, it also offers 10 gigabyte of uh, jukebox functionality so that you can put your favorite music there uh, and copy CDs for example. Uh, so you can fit about yeah 2,500 songs or 150 CDs there, yeah. um, bringing the need to bring a disc back, a CD back, it will I assume never happen more or less. Yeah. Um, in this case, we are looking at uh, a movie, and yep. you can enjoy this then in true 5.1 surround sound through the Harman Kardon sound system. Uh, there is also a variety of sources. Uh, for sure, we have radio. Uh, traditional radio, uh, AM, FM, DAB radio, uh, XM for US. Uh, we do have uh, uh, the DVD here as we have been looking at. Yep. Uh, hard disk drive, uh, as we talked about as well, where you then can uh, store your favorite music on this hard disk drive. You get the information about uh, the artist and the track and, and the uh, disc, etc. Um, an alternative is also then to use your USB. Yep. And in this case, then I use my memory stick yep. and I okay, can so connect this here. here. So the connector is in the center console. Yep. Okay. And I just plug it in and uh, then uh, it, it detects and automatically then starts playing directly from the USB. Okay, so we can see the uh, USB bit has been highlighted there on the screen. And, uh, and that starts playing automatically or you go through and select? No, I just starts playing automatically when right. it finds the tracks on. And then you can start uh, searching for artists and albums and, and all that information. Is right, so this is this is listing all of the songs that you've got on that USB stick now. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. And uh, you can of course connect your iPod, your MP3 player, or we can also make an, an alternative here and, and connect my, my phone. Uh, just one sec, and I will get my cables connected here uh, to the phone. And uh, in the same way then, you use your USB connection and you simply uh, bring that in instead um, and then it is connected in the same way and it starts searching the music on my phone and uh, not only I get to play my music and con control the music from the car I also get my phone charged at the same time. Yeah, and that's one of the arguments. Like some people were saying, why can't that be paired up by Bluetooth? Well, yeah. it's um, it's the benefit of charging the phone at the same time. Exactly, and yeah. then of course yeah, we also offer then uh, the Bluetooth hands-free system, uh, which you you uh, pair the first time you use it, and then when connected, then uh, the first time you you have it. So the next time you come to the car, it automatically connects to the vehicle. Yep, yeah. and then you have access to your 
very soon it, you have access to your phone yeah. uh, where you then uh, have your phone books and your call list etc uh, so you can control the phone from again and you put it in, in the uh, armrest storage if you want to or you keep it on in your pocket if you just have it connected via bluetooth uh, you get full control from the car and and the, uh, of course voice hands-free voice control uh, or you can use then the display and the faceplate buttons yeah yeah um, what else? We have, of course, a lot of settings. Uh, what we didn't show really at the same time here is, is a very convenient and to copy music. You have a rec button here. Yeah. Uh, so you push the rec button and then you get a question then. Should I copy this one or all song? Right. So, and then you just choose that and, and then you copy it to so the So this would drive. be, yeah, this would be copying in this case songs from your phone to the hard disk drive. Correct. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. So that's a rather neat feature. Um, the system is also the driver for the rear seat entertainment pack, uh, yeah. which this offers, uh, where you then have two 8-inch uh, displays in the rear, and you will have wireless headphones, and uh, uh, then the rear seat passenger can enjoy uh, video um, and music, and you can choose differently than uh, the source in the front and in the different uh, headphones. Then. Yeah, okay, so we should, should mention at this point that you can't copy you can't record dvds onto the hard drive it's only songs exactly yeah. yep but it does give you a lot of flexibility in that um someone can have a dvd in the system here and be listening to that and watching that in the back whilst you're listening to songs from your phone here in the front exactly yep. yeah so it, it gives a lot of flexibility exactly yep. yeah um, and it is theoretically possible that two kids could be watching two different programs in the back as well it if is. they if they use the connectors in the back correct yeah. yeah so one could be watching a dvd from the player at the front yep. and the other one could have his or her um, signal going in through the connectors in the back so it's yeah the flexibility is quite awesome it is it yeah. is yeah 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 good okay um, one thing that you showed me yesterday was the config um, yeah. menu. So can we yeah. just have a quick look through that? Because that's quite fascinating too. Yep. Yeah. Uh, so again, then every every setting here in the car um, is, um, or more or less every, we are actually already saw the the, the units there. But the, beside that, we have all the settings in configurations set in one menu where you can set things for the radio, for navigation, for the displays, for the vehicle then. So how you um, uh, the climate system, the, the comfort and convenience, uh, how you lock and uh, lock the car and hunk the horns and, and, and flash the lights, etc. Yeah. And those type of features. And for example, also this car have the drive sensor system, <coughs> and you also then have a personalization setting for the sport mode of the of the drive sensor system. So there you can do your interpretation of, of your preference of sport mode. Yeah. Uh, so you can turn on and off uh, these features and to to make it even more personalized. Yeah. To speak, so it's sport mode within sport mode. Almost. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. I just found that fascinating. The whole yeah, the fact that you can tailor sport mode to how you want it. It's yep. brilliant. Yeah. Yeah. So so here I have the different settings on in, in this one. Um, yeah. Good. Excellent. Perfect. All right. Well, I think that takes us through everything we wanted to go through. Yep. Thank you very much, Mikael. You're welcome. It's yeah, been a pleasure, yeah. uh, as it was yesterday, yeah. when we did this for the first time. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, thank you very much. Thank you very much.